What up, you mochis? You chicken wings and pork fried rices. Um, you uh, beet egg rolls. You you mashed potatoes. So you guys want a story? I'm gonna tell you guys my first band interaction. Okay? I don't get approached often. Usually I get the hey, sorry today at the library at like one o'clock, looking all juicy and voluptuous. It was nice seeing you. Yeah, that's usually what I get from you guys. I don't know for some reason you guys don't want to come up to me. But on this one day. One of you guys actually came up to me. So I was at the campus center getting lunch after like basketball or studying or something. So me and my friends Andrew and Chris were standing in line to get food. And then these two girls walked by and one of the girls did one of this. She did a double take and then stared me down. And I was like, was she, is she looking at me? So I looked behind me to see if anyone was there. Nope. So I'm looking at them like looking at me. And all I see is her like trying to grab her friend closer. And they were just like. Like, yo, did you see them, yo? Like, yo. And they're like whispering to each other, pointing at me, and I'm looking right at them. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? So now I'm like self conscious, and I think like I have like a big bug on me or something, or like I have like bird shit on my clothes because my friends didn't tell me or something. Assholes. But yeah, like, I'm like worrying that I have something on my face, I have like a bug coming out or something, and like I have like a big tumor on my face or something. So after I made sure that I was okay and I don't have any like, you know, protruding tumors or like, you know, this cancerous disease on my face, I was like, all right, maybe she thought she knew me, you know? For some reason, I look like a lot of people to you guys. Like, I look like a whole bunch of other celebrities. I look like a whole bunch of... It's probably because I'm Asian, right? All Asians look alike, huh? Isn't it? But I was like, whatever, and I went back to minding my own business. So 10 minutes passed, and like, we maybe moved up like 10 inches or something. You know when you stand in line for a while, and then your eyes start to like, wander around? Yeah, I started like, surveying the area. I was panning through the crowd, you know, like, checking like, you know, people out, like, people watching. And I spied the two girls standing all the way on the other end of like, the campus center, or like, the cafe area, or whatever. And they were like, pointing and like, whispering to each other, and nodding their head and shaking their head. Still looking behind me to see if anyone was behind me. Nope. I didn't want to say anything to Andrew or Chris, because I didn't want them to freak out either. So I just try not to pay attention and, you know, turn my back towards them and pretend like they're not there. And maybe hopefully, you know, a after a while, they'll just leave. The crazy thing is, after like 25 minutes, after we got our pizza, we went to the cafe to get food for me. I wanted like chicken fingers or um, chicken tenders, right? And I was standing in line again and the line to get the food took forever. So I got bored and uh, I started surveying the area and I was panning through a crowd again and then like it stopped. You know like in scary movies when you know the killer's like standing in the middle of a crowd and the person's like looking out the window and they see this the killer and they're like right there looking right back at you that's basically my view and the worst part is they were standing by the exit so at this point they followed me to the cafe area after we got our pizza which is like 30 minutes ago right and i'm standing in line now thinking to myself yo like this is it like they blocked off all exits I have no way out. Like, this is it. You know, they're gonna jump me. They're gonna beat my ass. They're gonna take my wallet. They're gonna put this on world star hip hop. Asian kid gets beat up by two girls. And, you know, it's gonna be this whole big thing. But now I'm standing in line to pay. And I'm hoping to God that this line takes forever to move because I'm hoping that they would get bored and just leave me alone. You know, like in the wild, you'll see like a bear or like maybe like a lion or sometime. They'll go up to a prey. And, like, if the prey plays dead, they'll like leave it alone you know they'll just walk away and they'll get bored with it that's what i'm hoping for right now you know nope for some reason this line took like two minutes really really are you serious i'm also keeping my eyes on the girls seeing what they're doing and all they're doing is looking down at their phone looking up and like shaking their head and like nodding their head at each other and i'm like i'm on a hit list they have a hit list out and i'm on it i'm gonna die so i pay for my food and i'm like walking out the door and I, as I was walking towards them, I don't want to make eye contact. So I'm like looking down at my phone and like pretending like I don't see them. And then she just got in front of me and she was just like, is this you? And I'm like, yeah, that's me. Like you watch my videos? She's like, yeah, you're awesome. Like I watch your videos all the time. I'm like, oh, thank you so much. So I didn't know what to say other than like, you know, thanking her. Uh, so I was just like, you know what? Bring it in. Bring it in. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. You know, thank you so much. And while this was happening, her family was like standing on the side and I was like, oh, do you watch my videos too? And she was just like, nah, just her. Whatever. Th does that, oops, whatever, you know, I don't care if you watch my videos or not. Please watch my videos. Please. Please. But if you're still watching my videos, I just want to say thank you again for coming up to me. It was nice meeting you. I didn't really get your name. I'm sorry, I still don't remember it. But if you're still watching, you know, leave it in the comments below. And I would like to thank you again for, you know, watching my videos and supporting me and coming up to me. My first fan interaction was you. And don't worry about this video because this was back then where like I didn't know what you were up to or like what you were thinking. 
So it was a little awkward at first, but then, you know, I was like, okay with it. I'm just glad you didn't go home and message me on now saying like, I saw you today at the cafe at 1.30, eating and leaving at 2.30. It was nice seeing you. Yeah. So I thank you for coming up to me, you know, it means a lot. Oh yeah, and my friend Chris and Andrew, you know, I don't really tell my friends about my YouTube channel or that I make videos online, you know? I don't know, for some reason, like, I just feel like I'm not ready to show them yet. But the whole time while this was happening, Chris was standing on the side like, yo, like, you know, like he was shot, basically. And then he found out that I have a YouTube channel. And then Andrew comes running back after like the whole thing's over. He's like, yo, what I miss, what I miss. Chris was just like, yo, did you know that Jay has a YouTube channel? Like, I just saw one of his fans come up to him or whatever. And I'm like, oh God, here it comes. And of course, you know, they had to like, you know, do all the research, they had to like pull up the videos and watch my videos. I guess the main thing is when your friends find out about your YouTube channel, they'll look at your videos and then they'll make fun of you for it. Which is what Andrew did. Thank you, Andrew. Uh, but you know, he got over it and now he's like, you know, with it, I guess. So, yeah. That's how most of my friends find out that uh, I'm a YouTuber. Is, you know, through word of mouth from my other friends or, you know, if sometimes rare cases like this where like a, you know, a follower, a viewer or a subscriber comes up to me and they're like with me. So, yeah. But you know, it's always funny to see like the looks on their faces when they find out that I have a YouTube channel, you know. It's pretty fun. But yeah, I encourage every one of you, you know, if you see me on the streets or like anywhere, I encourage you to come up to me, you know, say hi, you know, don't wait too long because then it's gonna be creepy, you know. And I'm sorry to upload the video yesterday because I did make the video, but I felt like it wasn't good enough and um, I didn't want to upload something that I didn't like. And I think I'm gonna upload one on Saturday too for you guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share my videos. You know, I'm still trying to get to 50,000 by my birthday. Hopefully we could get there. Um, other than that, you know, if you have an Instagram, Tumblr, Twitter, Facebook, you know, follow me in the links below in the info box. And, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for supporting always. And, uh, I love you guys. Peace.